what's up fellas, it's your boy Al. Right now I'm going to just show you a little quick thing I did. It's hot, it's my DT402. As I explained to you in one of my videos before that this was redonkulous, it was because there's no on and off switch. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> well I installed one up here, so as you can see, goes off, on, it goes on, it's on idle once it goes on and then you turn it off. Pretty hot right here. Now this makes it so you don't have to take out the battery on and off. So let me show you what's inside of it and uh, how I did it. It's pretty easy. This micro switch was just two bucks at Radio Shack. It took me 30 minutes to do maybe. All right, let's check it out. So as you can see here, the way that I did this was <clears throat> splice the wire. I spliced the positive wire, just cut it, added another yellow wires going up to this little micro switch, turning it on and off. This is what this controller needs to come with so that you don't have to take out the battery. So I just showed you how this thing works right here, well how I installed it and how it works as simple as flipping the switch and then on it goes, off. Run your trains, have a good time. When you're all done, flip it off. This was really needed on this controller. And I've added it. So, how do I feel? Pretty damn good. This is what you have to do for your DT402 or DT400R controllers. It's hot. Do it. Peace out, fellas.